take that bad guy. This game's all about collecting as much resource as possible. So if you find any boxes or anything that is able to be damaged or broken down, most definitely. Um, that. I got rough stone block. I got a shield available to me. You get this little path that's open. This unnamed place. Never mind, it's called Long Keep. Totally wrong. I'm just gonna get some materials from here. I'm also level two. Nice. Any logs? Nope. Oh goodness. It's here to destroy everything. Yes. I believe when you collect at l about 80 books, you can get a stack of books for decoration purposes. When I had first saw that, I thought it was supposed to be something like, you know how Minecraft, the more books you have in your library, the better that, um, like your magical thing? I forgot what it was. It's been so many years since I've played Minecraft, but I thought it was like a similar concept. If I had more books, I would be able to build stronger things or stronger items. Um, I don't think that's the, uh same concept unfortunately so basically the first part of this is like a tutorial on how to start on certain things like so it tells you that water is a great source of vitality you can drink it I primarily would like to use it for potions or food uh, to help with strengthening my character or con the constitution of my character you can cook these, so I'm gonna do that really quickly. And you would have to hold it and then wait till it makes a sound and then it's ready. Cause the second time it makes that sound, you make tar with it or you, um, well you basically burn it. New lore to sleep, eat and rest. I like how it's giving me a lot of water in the beginning. I didn't know that there was copper here. That's very helpful. I'm gonna collect these stones as well because I feel like they're gonna be helpful within the building process of my base. Right now I don't have the tools to cut down the trees or um, cut down bigger rocks. So I'm just gonna kind of collect all the small little bits and pieces that I possibly can. Twigs and plant fiber is super important in early game as well. Mushrooms are actually a big part um, in potion making and um, what the? Potion making and food, like you can grill the mushrooms or you can put them in recipes as well for potions. Um, and I think it's mushrooms and blueberries and water is what makes uh, the health potion like the basic ones when you first start off. You have to flame altar and place it and you can easily find the flame altar in crafting and then go into here. It tells you the uh, steps on how to do it as well. And where to navigate it and what ingredients and then how to craft its space bar so right now we're going to do the flame altar then we're going to do a workbench and then we're going to use a construction hammer for building our structures so let's start right here i'm going to where did i put it right there so it's in my five key i'm going to place it right in the middle right here and then it kind of tells you there are other survivors there, and they're basically the NPCs that kind of help you along the way and give you missions and stronger armor and better base or more things to build strong armor or stronger potions, better food, etc. You can also upgrade your altar and that's by getting shroud core. That's going to the shroud and fighting the enemies there. We will see that in a moment. But first we're going to plant our workbench. And I'm just going to place it wherever. If you'd like to rotate your item, it's just using R. So I'm just going to rotate it just right here for now. I can move it anywhere I'd like. 
by holding E to pick up. And you can do the same thing with the flame altar. Let's say you don't like where it is, press E, and it gives you the option to extinguish flame, and then you can replace it wherever you'd like. Alright, and we are crafting. So right here it gives you the um, building blocks in which you can start your structure. So what do we have open to us at this moment? We have rough stone, rough wood block, plant fiber, roof block, um, and storage is super important. So I think I'm going to go around and make string. I believe we have a few fibers that we can definitely use, but having a bunch of storage is super helpful um, when organizing um, your items that you find along the way. This is a glider, so it is asking for shroud wood. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make um, items so I can, well, items such as the pickaxe or an axe just so it could help me get better materials or more materials. Over here is the grappling hook, and this one requires metal scraps, strings, and, and shroud spores. So what we're going to do right now is I'm going to make a storage, and I'm going to go into my crafting, create a string. Oh, and the axe is actually right here, which is perfect. I actually already have a campfire in my inventory. I'm going to make a pickaxe, and then there's weapons, wands, and armor that you can wear um which i i think I will, i'll make one just for now a character might be cold at night you know right click to equip and i don't really need these items maybe do some organization here for a quick second there you go um if you ever also want to quickly place things i think it's shift left click when placing things into storage Okay, I've made two so far. I'm just gonna place them just right here because it's not the prettiest, but that is completely fine because we will find more things. Um, so like I said, shift, left click, you instantly move the entire stack there. And I think for this one, um, I'm gonna put food in it. I hope when the updates do come in, they, um, they give us the option to name the storage chests because I do find that with the amount of things you like to stay organized um, or else you just kind of lose everything in the process and it gets kind of annoying looking through an assortment of boxes looking for one specific thing. So I think hopefully they implement that in the future. I wouldn't see why they wouldn't. All right, so this is going to be my miscellaneous things that you cannot eat and things that you can eat. I think that's pretty good, but you can't eat the fiber. Let me just take that out because that is kind of silly. And I don't think you're able to eat wax, not that I am aware of. So there you go. That looks about right. Things you can eat and things you cannot eat go over here. As you can see, it only has two rows, so it is pretty limited. I do want to upgrade my storages in the near future. Um, it would be super helpful. Uh, and then anyways, we're going to go to the shroud. And if you look at the map, you can kind of see what is included in the shroud. It's these little clearish blue hues on the map. You will come across like reddish bluish hues like when you are playing the game. In my experience, do not enter that because it means the no-no zone where you will instantly die from the shroud. Uh, one way that you can kind of fix that, you can definitely upgrade your um, flame altar and your, your tolerance will be a lot better. I forgot we don't have a glider. You do take fall damage, so be careful when jumping in uh, the beginning of the game. So as you can see, we only have about five minutes. I'm gonna make the most of this five minutes and I'm just gonna go straight into this and carry as much as I can. Usually I kind of want at least like a... a few dozen is fine, right? I'm also gonna take this. There we go, shroud wood block at workbench is now available. I don't know how that gave me a firefly, but I will take it. And then, as you can see, we have some weird phallic objects in the near center of our screen. Um, but don't you fret, they are completely harmless. You can also take these down as well. And get shroud liquid from them. It's such a weird concept, but... Um, it's kind of funny. When it hits nighttime, you can barely see without a torch. So having a torch or some type of luminescent item on you, such as your wand or your weapon or your torch, is very important, especially um, at night. 
A really cool concept also that I've been I've been thinking about too is the wildlife in this in in this world. I kind of wish that you can tame some of the animals, but then would that be really close to Pal World? <laughs> this is Pal World, but um, Valheim style. As you can see, it's super dark, and the only thing that's kind of glistening in the distance is the shroud that you see over there, and then my flame altar. Also, quick and simple tip, if you want to repair your items, you can just press E and it automatically does it for you. So what we're going to do right now is I have this many shroud wood, okay, and I just need string, shroud spores, and animal fur. Seems easy enough, so let's see how much fur I have. That's things that you can eat, wrong one. I have only one animal fur, three shroud spores, and... Not a lot going on right now. So I'm just going to put everything in here. So I am running out of space, but I will just make do with what I have. So as I was, as I was mentioning earlier, there is a shrouded area that we can walk into and um, get more shroud spores and maybe some more materials for our building. Usually they're hanging out over here. There's also a basement here too. Oh, I see him. He's taking a nap. Hi. Wake up, sir. I love the blocking aspect, and you can also parry as well, which is really interesting. Um, depending on the class that you have, you can make that available to you, obviously. The build that I'm planning to do is, I think I want to do more of a mage set. I do like the fact that I can he constantly heal my character. I do get into a lot of trouble, so it's very helpful that I do. Um, please don't hurt me. Come back up here, because I can't see. Alright. That hurt. That hurt my feelings. There we go, we got some more shroud spores, more torn cloth. We're back in here. Back for good luck. I just ate something. I don't know what I ate. I misclicked. Common theme. I'm going to misclick, unfortunate. Shroud spores. For this, there is a moving door. Ow! I didn't even touch you this time. Can I come in here? Lovely. Right, let's get the things out of here. Let's get more materials. I do need a lot of wood, a lot of stone the building blocks. What's also cool about the building aspect um, is that you can remove the structures that you had placed before. I should probably leave for a second. A little bit. Back to it. Hey, there's more of these guys over here too. I'll go take a gander at them in a moment. There's a door here that I want to get a look at real quick. Oh, more material. But yeah, as I was saying, uh, once you build like the building blocks of your said base or your said house, um, you can remove it and then add whatever. I am silly. Should I use a different tool for it? You can remove it and um, replace it for what you do want. Which is nice, like, so it's, it doesn't give you too much of a hard time. Alright, I cannot see... One thing I do not like. Dark basement. Not a fan. String. Running into walls, hopefully I can find a... Some stairs? Hello? There we go. Oh my goodness, Gravy. I was scared. I keep eating that mushroom. That's why it can't be on that. Fireflies are super handy too for uh, lamps as well. Alright, we're home. Home sweet home. 
Let me see what we need for this. Two animal fur. We have enough shroud spores. Um, we only have one animal fur. If you were a cute dog, this would be very hard to do. What? It didn't drop me any fur. What do I do with my life now? I need to find more wild animals. I believe you can get it from goats too. I remember finding goats over here. Let's see. I forgot where the goats were. Were they near this area? Oh, I hear something. Please. Have you heard about our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, please? Yes. Nice. All right. Let's go home. What? Who killed these ones? Well, we got more animal fur. That should be useful in other building projects as well. Okay, let's go get our shroud wet. Our glider. And for the grappling hook, we need metal scraps, but I don't think I've come across any metal scraps as of yet. And for this one, all you have to do is just right click to equip. That is equipped to me. Let's put the things that we don't want away. Well, something I have also uh, learned is I think in the basic or in the beginning part, I feel like you can get Lumberjack and it does 30% more damage against wooden objects, including trees. So I'm going to get that. A cool thing about this game is if you choose to use that skill point for something else, you can go to the flame altar and readjust your skills too, which is nice. So what we're gonna do is I do more damage to trees now with my axe and we will gain trees faster. So I have two options. It's a rough wood block or proud wood block or rough stone. And I think what I want to start off with is just stone. In the later game you do get some really cool um wooden blocks, and I kind of want to save up for that. I also do need plant fiber for a roof, and I generally don't like using plant fiber for this, because it is super useful in, like, important items, like creating string for bandages. I feel like it's super helpful. So I might not even make a plant fiber roof block. I might just save this for now and just build. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm just gonna um, venture around, find more materials and then so forth. All right, so building scaffolds, super interesting on how these work. I find these to be magical, especially if you try to build two to, to three to four story buildings, scaffolds save your life because you do take fall damage. You have to be careful. Um, it takes one string and five logs, which is super awesome. And you can place them in your inventory, and then when you want to use them, put them in your hotkeys, place them, and when you want to delete them, hold E, and it should be gone. I'm gonna buy one of these ones. Oh, I'll buy. I'm going to make one of these ones just because um, I do want to build higher, and I feel like that's super important. I'm gonna have to put the things that kind of look edible in here now. I don't know how I feel about that, but... It's just something that we have to deal with for now. If you want to sort any of your items for them to make sense, G is to store, sort your storage, and then T is to sort your inventory. It's just so everything stacks together if you have separate items of the same thing. Um, all right, so let's figure out what we're going to do today. Aim a spot for your base. We have done that, so everything that's completed is going to be under, and everything that needs to be done is above. Find the sleeping survivor. Travel through the shroud. The world is lost, but not barren. Survivors of the shroud wait to be roused by your inner fire. Is it roused or roused? I'm only reading it as roused because you know the word aroused. Anyways, find the sleeping survivor marked on your map. You will have to venture through the shroud. So the first character is not too far from the base. I'm going to set it as waypoint so I can constantly see it. It's about less than 500 meters away. Let's get more endurance as well. Um, I'm a squirrel. Fuck that we need. I dislike the noises that the shroud make. 
Like if it's one thing that the game developers thought of was to make this entire place very eerie. It works. Great job. Maybe I am supposed to kill these guys. You know what? Let's do a little detour. If I die, I do have some important items on me though. So is there another way that I can get across the bridge without going across the bridge? Anything to pick up here? No. Nope. But I did find a flame shrine. The ancient vault. Alright. Um, we must definitely get this. This is very helpful in the beginning part of the game. So now you can use it for a block, but it's primarily for um, items uh, such as armor, uh, more building items. And I think the blacksmith um, requires flintstone for something. I'm gonna go through this passage because I think this is um, where he might be. I think so. So we are going to enter this. Oh, I didn't see you there until last second. You like that? Oh goodness. They have metal scraps. Oh right! Here's another thing that I've uh, learned in this game is when you defeat bandits, there's a high probability of them dropping metal scraps. Alright, alright, alright. There's some stairs over here. These usually have um, loot in it, and it's primarily like cloth. Hmm, cloth and water. If you do like to read these, just uh, pause it in between the video. Bandits. I would love to have swords like this. I think two-handed would be so cool. Might be like a two-handed mage. A little scary. I almost died there. Venture forth. Right. I had another blueberry. I gotta really put that out of my thing. So we got Oswald Sanders. Once you are trying to get the characters, the NPCs that kind of help you along the way and give you quests and basically a will to get up in this game every morning, you feel me? I'm just joking. So he opens up metal sheets, nails, and other cool items. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to our humble abode. I'm a little lazy, so we're just gonna fast travel. So they're asking us to make a summoning staff. Again, it's in manual crafting, so you can just pull this out of your bag if you'd like to. And then we have enough twigs. It really just takes one twig. And we have it in our hockey. And I'm gonna press tap. And we have Mr. Oswald Sanders, the blacksmith. Um, and I'm just gonna place him just in the center over here. Right. I will move him in the, in the near future because I do um, want to build him his own little area. I believe they do ask for you Let's to make it. their own little area as well. Okay, he just called me weak and puny. It doesn't hurt. It's fine. You woke me up first. Crafting a scrappy sword and spiked club will serve as well. So we've unlocked a few things from him. He gives us a forge, kiln, nails, axes. So these are stronger than what we currently have. I'm going to make this one and one handed weapon. So it's asking or he's asking us to make a one handed club or a spiked club, which we need nails for. I'm going to make two and we're going to do that. And here he goes and he unlocks a small chest, which is going to be better. I think it gives us an extra row of items that we can put in and over here are quests that he gives us so or things that he'll ask for so we can get more items from him or more yeah new build items basically so he's asking for a proper shop to smith in only then i can craft the right equipment for your journey don't fret it's not hard to build one you'll need a workbench which we already have some building blocks which we've already got started on and a construction hammer which we do have in our inventory so let's get to work and here's another one cleansing fire embervale can still be saved where there's ash, there's embers. The shroud suffocates the valleys, so seek the elixir well with your new gear and raise the root of our misery. Ignite the depths and set this evil ablaze. Go on, I'm counting on you, Flameborn. I like the concept of Flameborn. It kind of reminds me of Dragonborn, and it really brings me to that time, and I'm just like somewhat reliving an aspect of my life. Uh, he's giving us another quest called Well Rested. Even with new gear, you shouldn't feel too safe out there. Rest up and eat well before you head out. 
a fire, a roof over your head, and some meat in your belly will prepare you for anything. Get so having out. the well-rested trait is actually really good. So we're going to do that because I, I do understand the, the necessity for shelter and food. Is it going to tell us the same thing? Can we upgrade our... We don't... I don't think we have a shroud core. All right, so I'm going to get started on building the base. Also, any weapons that you don't plan on using, I do suggest just salvaging them and you get runes for them and runes kind of help you upgrade your um, other weapons that you'd like to upgrade or to help with the flame altar. So we already have 1700 blocks. I don't remember if we've already unlocked. Right, we got, so with the flintstone, this is what I was talking about. Flintstone can be so used for better things than just having a flintstone block because it's asking for 10 and you can make a stone shingle for five and it just looks nicer than a plant fiber and plant fiber as i said it's super important for bandages and i kind of want to save up for those so we're gonna make as many as we can um and we're gonna build a little hut for him i'm trying to think about the floor plan um when building this i know that i can kind of change it the more that i go along and um just trying to think how i want to go around doing this so i made a simple build tutorial on the last video on how to use this um this could be a more in-depth version of it the first one is a platform so you can actually have it pretty high or pretty low and it's basically the base of your structure and then have him be in the bottom of my structure and then i be on somewhere on the top where the living quarters is i even have this idea of having all of us um technically live upstairs where all the small bedrooms would be and then the downstairs would be like the whole entire marketplace of where things get done or another concept that i was thinking about is to build an entire town for all of these npcs and have them have their own little quote unquote story in their own little home make it their own thing like let's say the blacksmith i would make a blacksmith area for his kilns and for his forges obviously i'd build i'm gonna build multiple because it's just faster that way to make more materials and then somewhere in the back i'll have his bedroom and you can also make a bathroom in this one too and it increases the comfort level set homes so right now i'm just gonna make him live in my little dinky hut but if you guys have any ideas please let me know in the comments below whether i should make a town or as you can see it takes about 256 to make this a little bit higher I don't know how I feel about that. It takes a lot of materials. Um, I'm gonna make that snap into the end here. And I think I'm just gonna make a little trailer log for now. It does require a roof as well. I didn't say this was gonna be a nice building tutorial or tutorial at all. I just said this was something. I have no idea. Clearly, we love windows here. Windows are lovely. I'd like to look into the nature of things and look into everything. I'm nosy. Um, and then for the roofs, I'm gonna do tiny little roofs because it's a tiny little block. So cute. And then we're gonna go press 6 and we should press R. With that, no, I would actually have to... Of course. I have to individually place them because the other one, the other block is too small. So, as you can see, they, they look like they're not touching until you place them, and then they just kind of merge together. Alright, this looks very odd, but it is my little hut. I'm very proud of it. And what we're going to do is we're going to press 5, which is um, hotkey to the summoning staff. Press tab and escape. I'm going to go put him over here, uh, just into this area, because that's what he wants. He just wants a roof over his head, basically. Uh, well, this place is cozy, alright. Good roof will let me get some proper work done. Let's see what I can craft for you. And I'm guessing he's gonna have other things open for me. Um, but he said this was cozy. So we have the option for a charcoal kiln. We get a fur armor set now, which is pretty awesome. It is asking for string. I'm kind of glad I did not make that other roof piece, the fiber roof piece, and I'm saving it for other things. I'm gonna grab all of my things. I'm gonna put these away. I think it's gonna ask for fur. It's primarily fur. I crafting, getting the other string, make a bunch of them. I might as well make some more bandages. Alright, hello, I'm back and I would like my full set of armor. Metal scraps. Okay, so all of these ask for metal scraps for armor and stuff. Seems like enough, I think. Let's see. Am I out of plant fiber? 
That was fast. I mean, I did make about like a few, a few dozen bandages. All right, well, we do have part of the outfit. We have um, three fifths of the outfit, so we're gonna right click a bit. I need string and shroud spores. Storage. So I have a tiny chest and a small chest. But I believe the small chest gives me more inventory. Yeah, so I'm gonna need nails and scrap metal. This means we're gonna go have we're gonna have to fight more bad guys. I know this is isn't things that you can eat, I understand, but with what little storage we have, we have to make do. Alright. So clear the elixir well, and what this does is basically gives you a skill point. Make sure when you do glide you have enough stamina or you will fall straight down. Right, location. What was that? It's the noises. The noises really scare me. Right, we are here. We have less than five minutes to spare. These guys are level three. I'm strong. I'm brave. I'm strong and I'm brave. Attack. The location is about. Oh, there's another bad guy. The turn beacons for your maximum time in the show. I think it's down here. Yes. I didn't mean to do that. Alright. There's a chest here with a bow. The bows are super helpful, so I think since this is going to be a solo playthrough, I'm most definitely going to use the bow. Um, because it does- it is required in like, future puzzles in the game. Alright, so we're deeper into the shroud, and the noises are absolutely terrible. I went through here, or that is protecting it, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of like, Try to go behind it and Ooh, I don't like this guy. I hit him. What level is he? He's just chasing me. Well a grenade suffice. Oh, did a lot of damage for that one. Very effective. That was my last. That's my last one. Uh. Oh, please, please! Oh my gosh! I mean, I knew I was gonna get that the whole time. Veil can be reclaimed. Collect sparks and offer them at the flame altar to strengthen the flame. Sparks lie scattered around the world in flame sanctums and flame shrines. Alright, let's upgrade this altar. I will need a lot to um, upgrade this. Oh, wow. Okay, we are home. Really? Right now? Yes, right now. Scaling an ancient spire. Embervale mm. has changed before a time. A race of ancient built towers to survey the land. The ancient spires one is close by. Climb it and discover the world anew. Grappling hook. Oh yay. Craft uh. a grappling hook if you want to further explore Embervale. Yes. There's nothing I would love but to explore Embervale. And almost die. 
I have a source of light that I want to use because it is very dark in my humble abode. So what I'm going to do is place this cute little light right there. The comfort level is already seven and I don't have any windows or doors. Um, we're very simple folk over here. We just like the bare minimum. The bare minimum is fine for us. So I do want to make the bed for extra comfort and it also makes the time go faster. Uh, let's say if you don't want it to be night, you can make it brighter. I thought I took a campfire. I love a campfire. I'm gonna put it right, right here. More light. Oh, and actually I can move this. Not that. Oh well. Move that right there and move that. What? I can't? I thought I could put it on top of the thing. It would have been so cute. Whatever. It's fine. This is fine. We're gonna start making the kiln, the charcoal kiln. And the forge, which takes metal scrap, stone, charcoal, and wood logs. We're gonna have to go fight more bandits, guys. Uh, but let's place this charcoal kiln. I don't know which way is the right way. I'm gonna assume it's that one. Yep. Place items from your inventory here to make them available for the factory. Here you can track the production process. The factory will produce the selected recipe until no ingredients are left or the factory's inventory is full. Switch between the recipes you have unlocked for this factory here. Perfect. So this makes charcoal and charcoal helps with other things. So I do have dirt and I do have wood logs. We're just going to make a few. I'm not going to use all my resources for it, but I am going to use all my dirt. I feel like you can get dirt anywhere, so this shouldn't be too hard. It's only nine. I don't have enough wood logs. Okay. Leave that in there. I don't have room for my seal. That's for us. Let's put more. Yay! Let's make a bed. I need plant fiber, string. Plant fiber and string. Alright. We've unlocked. The comfy cozy bed. Um, it's a very tight squeeze, but I think I want to face the fireplace. Oh, that's nice. My feet are gonna stay warm. So yeah, the time moves faster while you're in your bed. Get up. It's daytime. Anyways, I hope you guys like this solo gameplay. If you guys want to see more, please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also on Twitch as well. I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay hydrated.